guys, welcome back to my channel. It's just Janine. Thank you so much for coming back and watching another one of my videos. And I apologize, I have a sinus infection, sinus drainage going on, so I sound a little off right now, at least to me it does. But I just want to thank you for coming back. For those that are newly coming into my channel and watching this video for the first time, welcome. And don't forget to click that subscribe button. And for those that have been with me since day one, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm just going to show you just a, a very quick uh, refreshing of my curl hair routine or whatever. I'm just going to show you how what I do to refresh my curls. So when I'm waking up, and as you can see, I got my bonnet on my head. I'm going to take it off, and you can see all the atrociousness <laughs> that is up under here. Yeah, looks kind of crazy. But I'm just going to show you what I do. So I found something that helps to refresh my hair really quickly and it also moisturizes my hair very well and it does not leave any residue or any flakes in my hair. And it's this item right here. I purchased this at Walmart and this is the Fruit of the Earth Aloe Vero. And what I do, now you have to excuse this water bottle because it's been in the microwave and I'll tell you why. I pour this in a water bottle and I heat it up in the microwave and of course it has kind of melted <laughs> a little bit but what it does is it actually opens up my hair follicles and it softens my hair and my hair follicles to make it easy to detangle so that way I don't have to really use a comb or a brush to detangle my hair it's just easy to use my fingers so that's all I do just pour this into my water bottle heat it up in the microwave so all I'm doing right now is just taking out the bobby pins because I had my hair um, in a little style earlier so I'm just gonna take these out so I think I got all of them out of my hair yeah so my hair is just dry right now and so we're gonna go ahead and sorry <laughs> sniffles so just gonna go ahead and use our my trusty um, water bottle with our aloe vera and it's nice and warm uh, don't get it too hot you don't want it hot but you want it medium warm to maybe medium hot but not hot hot like just enough to you know soften those those follicles those hair follicles so I'll just start spraying and as you spray try to work it in as fast as you can don't try don't let it you know drip all over you but just kind of work it in massage it in and you'll start to feel uh, your hair starting to loosen and soften from all those tight dry curls and I didn't discover this until when did I discover this I think when I was doing those uh, DIYs when I was doing those aloe vera DIYs what I realized is that the uh, the plant the the aloe vera plant I was using it on my hair, but I was blending it up and trying to make like my own hair moisturizer. But what I found is that the aloe vera plant does not like my hair in terms of it leaves this white stuff all in my hair. And I saw somebody else on YouTube say the same thing that the aloe vera plants leave this white um, substance in your hair uh cruddy substance in your hair i'm not really sure what that is but by the time my hair dried oh i feel a bobby pin right here two of them but by the time my hair dried and i was at work and my co-workers were like what's that white stuff all in your hair and i'm like white stuff in my hair so i finally realized it was the aloe vera plant that was doing it i was like yeah, I like aloe vera. It has a good, um, it promotes good hair, it promotes hair growth. And I was like, well, I want to use it, but then I'd be seeing other people using like just the juice, um, that's like already in the bottle. I'm really not spraying a lot on here, uh, like y'all think I might. <laughs> um, but my hair is pretty thick, so I have to make sure that I get it kind of, um, as saturated as possible. But, um, so I said, well, let me try to find something. I went on Amazon and I saw the kind that normal people usually buy, but Walmart had one and I was like, well, this has to work. Maybe it's the same thing. And, um, I looked at it and I said, well, let me try it. So I tried it and I tried it without warming it up. 
but usually when I do my hair anyway, I always spray warm water on my hair because it softens it up and it makes it more manageable for me to do my hair. So I said, well, huh, let me warm up this aloe vera in this bottle. And this is how the bottle ended up getting shrunken and dented because the microwave cooked it. <laughs> But ever since I started using this stuff, like it keeps my hair moisturized all day. It does not have any white residue flakes in my hair at all, which was a like a bonus for me. Cause I was like, finally, cause I used to just mix water and conditioner in my bottle or just water. But I was like, I don't want to have conditioner in my hair all day. You know, I would like to do something very light that's still going to moisturize my hair without me having to mix stuff, you know? So that's how I started with this and it's been working for me ever since so instead of just doing regular you know tap water I feel like I've been spraying for the longest but <laughs> but um instead of me just doing regular tap water um I just do the aloe vera uh, juice and I warm it up like I said and it works beautifully with my hair so right now my hair is like very very soft it's very soft look at me gliding Glide my hair, glide my hand, gliding my hands, I can't even talk. Gliding my hands through my hair. Like, it's just very manageable. Very manageable. Very manageable. Yeah, you know when your hair starts working for you, you start humming. Start humming a little ditty. But yeah, but that's all that you do. That's That's what I do. To revitalize my curls this is what I do to refresh my curls very simple and easy you know style it any way you want it um, I've started to kind of I try to wear my hair a different way because I know I've been rocking that side poof forever in a day <laughs> but like I said not a lot of ways I can wear my hair um, at all let me I'll do just a little quick something for y'all you know just a little quick something something now, I don't normally use my dimming brush. Like I said, I normally just use my fingers, but when I'm trying to get this little bulk from the top of my head, because my hair gathers up right there, I do have to use my dimming brush to make sure that I do um, get all of the, uh, the bulk of hair that sticks up at the crown of my hair down, just to make it, you know, um, and the dimming brush actually, when it gathers my hair together, it actually makes it more tangled, to be honest. But once I get them the tangles, then it just, as you can see, just slides right through. Just slides right through. I don't know what I just said. But yeah, once I get my dimmer brush, you know, in there, it, it only takes just a couple sweeps and then I can, you know, glide through my hair. So, I do this side and I just run just through this side. Yeah, my hair really needs to be trimmed. It needs to be trimmed, like, really bad. But once it's once it gets worked in there, because I'm working the um, aloe vera through my hair from the roots, because I didn't really spray my roots, I just sprayed my hair. So once I work the aloe vera all the way through, then it glides through a, a lot better. Two bobby pins, and I'll crisscross them on the edge of my hair just to make sure my hair is secure. I don't know if you can see that, but I crisscross the edge of my hair and then I just hold the rest of it down and I just kind of go around in a circle just above I just go around in a circle or half a circle I don't bring the bobby pins all around I just I'll, show, I'll turn around and show you the back of it here in just a, excuse me, just a second. And I'll swoop this part back. And if you want to put a, sometimes I'll put a little, sometimes I'll put a little um, edge control there just to make it even more sleeker. These bobby pins are the truth. If y'all want some good bobby pins, Definitely get you the non-slip bobby pins because these things work very, very great on kinky curly hair. Very great on kinky curly hair. It'll hold that hair down. 
that's for sure. You just fluff it out. That's pretty much all you do. Just fluff it out. And just the, you know, just the low, low puff. It gives the illusion that you have like this full thing of hair when you really don't. When you just put your bobby pins just along here and on the sides, you know, you can poof it out better to give the illusion that you have a lot of like a big afro puff. But yeah, that's all I do. When your hair is like super duper dry, I mean super dry, like no moisture at all. So when your hair is just a moisture, this aloe vera, I'm telling you, go to your Walmart. I'm going to put it in the description uh, box at the bottom. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for watching how I refresh my curls and what I use to refresh my curls. So if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please comment and don't forget to click that subscribe button. It's just Janine and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.